Okay, I'm just doing a quick check over on this Alice Chalmers lawn tractor I just purchased. Figuring out what it needs and should I keep it or should I resell it? As of right now, it's leaning towards we're going to be keeping it, but um, it definitely does need some work. It needs at least one new front tire, maybe both. The front left is heavily worn and the front right is worn but nowhere near as bad as the left it obviously needs a standard tune up on the engine it needs a good pressure washing i'd like to take the top cover off make sure there's no mouse nests in there make sure there's no old mouse nests in there just do a quick check over on that and then obviously get the entire machine a bath at the same time the seat does have some rips that's why i have it sitting in the sun i want to get it nice and hot i'm going to get the gorilla tape and take care of the seat right now before i pressure wash it that's easy. The deck on the other hand is very solid, but it needs two new blades. Both blades are uh, cracked near the end. I figured I could take them off and have them sharpened. No, um, that's not necessarily the case. They are cracked, I will show you. It's definitely a very solid deck. It's in very good shape. There's no rust on it. It is a greasable. There's grease uh, points are actually on the underside, which kind of sucks. But I'm happy to see it is greasable. But this blade here is cracked right up here near the end. And same on this end. Watch out, Shania, move. I believe, yep, this one here is the same. This one's actually worse. I can actually move it with my thumb. And this side here is uh, no better. So it definitely needs two blades, but the spindles feel good. They spin nice and good. This is a electric PTO machine, so that aspect we're good. So it needs a deck service as well. Um, typical engine service. And that's pretty well it. The battery is taking a charge. As you saw in the last video, it did fire back up after driving it home. So the battery should be fine. So I'm just debating that at the moment to keep this machine or resell it. The previous owner paid $2,600 for this machine back in 2009. So I, only, I got it for 400 bucks. So I'm not into it for much of anything. So if I was to keep it, it's good to keep. My Cub Cadet that I'm currently using, on the other hand, isn't worth very much. But I could make it a dedicated snow blowing machine and hold on to the deck for a later date if I ever do need to put a deck back on it. So that's what we're kind of leaning towards. And then the cub I got from my neighbor will most likely be going back up for sale as well. So I'm just kind of trying to recoup some money here out of some of these machines I've been purchasing. This is definitely one of the better purchases, definitely being what it is and being what I got it for. He was originally asking 600 one week and I went to him the following week and I asked, was talking to him about it. And he, I said uh, 400, I offered it to him. He thought for a second and he accepted. So, like I said, this machine probably retails about 1200 bucks. So, it's definitely worthwhile to put the money into it. Two new front tires, the deck belts, or sorry, the deck blades, obviously. And the belts all seem to be okay. Um, battery, eventually, down the road, it will need a battery. The battery is from... It's an Everstart from uh, 4 of 15, so it's a four-year-old battery. So it's it's getting there. It's getting up to its life expectancy, especially for an Everstart. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm happy it's a front battery, rear tank. I do like that setup. The Cub Cadet, on the other hand, is a pain in the butt front battery, rear tank, because it's a pain to get the battery in and out. This one here definitely looks better than the Cub Cadet. Uh, this is obviously belt drive, it's not shaft drive, so keep the shaft drive machine for uh, the snow removal. And uh, this machine here, keep it for just my general grass cutting. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm leaning towards. It is a foot pedal hydro, which isn't bad. The reverse is kind of funny on this, but it will just take a little bit to get used to. Um, but yeah, so here it is, and it also it is the uh, bigger engine, it's the good Briggs. It's a 23 horse Briggs V-Twin. They're a bit of a gas guzzler, but they're definitely not that bad. I think my Kohler is actually less on gas than this thing would be. So here it is. Uh, I guess that's uh, pretty much it. So Alice Chalmers, I'll post the model in the uh, 
title of the video and in the description. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep, please keep it right next like always and uh, please subscribe and comment.